Hello, everybody. This is Angry African. I just wanted to give you my initial uh, reaction to the new patch notes. Uh, this is my initial reaction. Oh, yes! Because the patch notes are amazing for us. They are amazing for summoners in general. As long as you're not planning to use summon raging spirits. If you plan to use summon raging spirits, rip! Because they are they are being greatly nerfed by 20% at high level. I think they're still going to be a solid, useful build, but they're not going to be the cookie cutter, super powerful build that everybody was expecting. So, rip raging spirits. They're not going to be. Uh, they're not going to just trash and destroy the game. Do it if you love it. It'll still be good. It'll still be fine. It's just not going to be overpowered. And honestly, I'm great about that. But in terms of the patch changes, everything about them massively buffs our build. Zombie health has been buffed by 12%. 12% more health, guys. So that's a more multiplier on top of everything. Now remember uh, the cursed balls summon I've been using? No snapshotting. Zombies were tough. So now this is just more life for us that just comes from absolutely nowhere. Absolutely amazing. Then, on top of that, massive Spectre buff. 10% uh, life, damage, car speed, everything about Spectres basically has been buffed by 10%. That's a huge, huge, huge uh, improvement uh, over the old Spectres. And again, I wasn't using snapshotting. So once again, it's a, it's a really fantastic buff. Just these two things are going to have a massive difference to the build. And I'm really, really excited about those two changes. It's just, it's, I, th I think this uh, classic summoner build. Uh, with the with the curse supports is just going to be great. On top of that, there's another huge buff, and that's the unique un, uh, undying breath or dying breath. It's unique that increases damage of everything by 18% more, or range by 18%, curse effectiveness by 18%, which is pretty damn good if you uh, if you're using a multi cursor summoner build. Uh, but now, what, what's changed about the unique? They've removed the less damage. Um, sorry, they've removed that. Well, okay. I had sixty. Six lightning resist, I think. Sixty-eight. That was a one-shot, all right. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, to continue on with the video, <laughs> undying breath. Uh, they've removed the eighteen percent increased damage. They've removed that completely. Instead, they've added uh, eighteen percent increased aura effectiveness. This means the unique's actually really strong. It could be stronger on animate guardian, but it actually makes the unique viable to use uh, as a weapon. If you've got decent enough gear to cap your resists, you can now actually use dying breath, and I think it'll be probably a really powerful end game unique uh, for the cursor build. Increasing curse effectiveness by 18%, the damage of your party members and your minions by 18%, and all your auras by 18%. It's going to be very powerful. Well, that was a bit of an unexpected uh, happening to the video. I guess my character in Garen is now in softcore. I'm going to have to relook at the void to see why I got one shot. That just seems insane. That's never happened to me before. I guess my life was too low. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts, and I will be streaming and giving more detailed thoughts about the rest of the changes. But I just thought I should give you my initial impression on how excited I am for the Summoner Bolt. RIP! This has been Angry African. Cheers.